Well, everyone, so you should have now gathered some images that you can use in your poster in the style of Ollie Moss. So it's quite simple what we're going to do. You're going to grab different elements from your film and, you, film, sorry, and you're going to incorporate them into a movie poster in the style of Ollie Moss. So I would, first of all, pick an outline of a central character, and then within inside that outline, you can place other objects to do with the film. So the task that I'd like you to get on with today is using the polygon tool to do a selection around your character, filling in with a flat color. It doesn't really matter what color it is at this stage. So you can fill it in. Then you need to save it as a PXD file. When you save it as a PXD file, it saves to the local computer, so the PC that you are using. So you need to make sure that when you're saving it, if it goes to your downloads folder, I would suggest then uploading it or emailing it to yourself or uploading it to Gmail or Google Drive. So just talk you through the steps very quickly and I'll do a quick demonstration. So using your image, create a new layer. You need to make sure that you're in Ultra HD, otherwise your end image will be pixelated. So new layer on top, empty. Then with the polygon tool, you can zoom in. And you can choose to zoom in a little bit further depending on how much uh, fidelity you want in the image, so how much, um, whether you want it to be jagged or not. So basically, I pick then the pixels that go around the object. Now, you can do more clicks or less clicks, but what you want to end up with is an outline of the character. So you continue to go around your character. And when it comes to something like hair, hair is quite random, so you can sort of do this effect. And then when you finish, so notice I'm pressing the space key to move around. When you finish going around your character, so double click, that completes the selection. And then on your layer, you can choose to fill with a blank color. So if I zoom back out, fit, obviously I haven't done a very good job here, but here's one I made earlier. Okay, so that's on its own layer. So when I go to File, Save, and save as a PXD, so I'm just going to save this as number two, Download. That now goes to my Download folder on your computer. So if you want to use this file in school, what you then need to do is send an email to yourself uploading these files. What I'll also do is create... Um, on the assignment that, that has already been set with the Olimos movie poster, you can attach your PXD files there. So if I go to the Google Classroom, click on Graphics, go to the most recent assignment for you guys, and the Classwork movie poster, you can choose to add your PXD files here. Now, I would strongly suggest that you do this. Because what we don't want to do is, when you come into school, you have to say, sir, I've done the work, but I don't have it, or it's on my PC at home. Okay? So make sure now that you add your examples here. I'll show you how I would do it. It's slightly different for me, but I would click Add, go to a file, upload. So I need to browse my computer, and then find the file. So it's Back to the Future, Marty Background 2. So to my downloads, there it is, open, and there you go, it's attached. So I'll leave that attached to the assignment so that you can see what I mean. So after you've done that, you want to build up the other elements. You can leave them on a single page. So I've imported this image of a DeLorean, which is a car that's used in the film. I've gone around my outline and I've done exactly the same thing. File, save, and save it as a PXD and then attach it to Google Classroom. So when I asked yesterday, all of you have access to digital devices at home. Obviously, it's better if you've got a mouse and a computer. So let me know if you do have any problems straight away, OK? So I'll make this link now, this video recording, available on Google, Google Classroom so you can replay and go through the steps once again. Even when you save and upload that file management, and if you would like to go into graphics in the future, file management is going to be a key thing in order for you to be successful at it. 
So if you've got any questions, please pop them below Google Classroom. If for any reason that you can't do the work, please drop me an email.